my name is Mike from Thorovox, and this is the new ET5. It's a dual analog oscillator synthesizer with two independent voices. And the pitch is controlled by this ring. Uh, the ring's been redesigned on the ET5 to be more smooth and articulate. The amplitude of each oscillator is independently controlled with these two intensity keys. The intensity keys of the ET5 have also been completely redesigned to give a more progressive feel. So as you push down, they offer more resistance, so you have more control over the sound dynamics. oscillator we've also added a new waveform which is a sawtooth and that approximates a string sound like a bowed string. We've also improved the filter section and the filter is now a resonant three-pole low-pass filter. There's also now a tube style saturation circuit. We've also added a fully integrated effects loop section with a 9 volt power output. The fingerboard on the ET5 has also been extended by almost a full octave, and the fingerboard is also now pressure sensitive. We've also added two new controls to the left-hand side, and their function can be assigned through the new patch panel. The patch panel is where the performance controls of the ET5 can be assigned to any parameter on the synthesizer. Utilities are also provided for splitting or combining or inverting those signals. So for example, let's say I want to assign the new left-hand slider to control the pulse width of the square waves. So I would just patch that right into the pulse width modulation input. Another example might be if you want the two intensity keys to open up the filter cutoff. So in that case, I would patch the intensity keys both into one of the mults, and the mults can do splitting or combining. So in this case, they're going to combine, and then I'm going to take the mult output and go into the filter cutoff. This area is where you can get real creative and there's a lot of different patching options. Um, for example, you can use the second oscillator as either an LFO or as an audio rate modulation source. built-in tuner allows for silent tuning of each analog oscillator. So to do that, you just move the ring to the tuning fork. And after a few seconds, an LED will appear for the first oscillator. And you tune that till it turns green. And once that's in tune, the second oscillator appears. And blue is flat and red is sharp. And then you move that till it's green. And then... <laughs> Both your oscillators are perfectly in tune. You can also use that to tune to a harmonic interval. So you start the same way by going to the tuning fork and you can tune the first oscillator. And then once the second oscillator appears, you can move the ring by your desired interval, however many semitones you want, and then tune it at that position till it turns green.
Osk 2 can also be completely disconnected from the ring. So, so its pitch no longer tracks the ring's location. Instead, the pitch gets selected when you push down on the new pressure sensitive fingerboard. So you kind of play it like a keyboard where you can use it for accompaniment. And I'm gonna push down for a new note. Push down again. The ET5 also has an input for an expression pedal, and this can be used to control the filter cutoff as you play, but on the ET5, it can also now be used to bend the pitch of the second oscillator by setting the expression pedal function to bend to. So if you use an expression pedal that has an attenuator, that attenuator will set the interval at which you can bend upwards to up to approximately one octave. So this allows the pitch of the second oscillator to deviate from what it normally is set to by using your foot. That's sort of based off of a, a, like a pedal steel. ET5 also has a fully integrated effects loop, so there's space on the panel for an effect, but there's also 9 volt power that comes right out of the ET5 and can power your effect pedal. So there's no need for batteries or adapters. The internal saturation control adds additional harmonics in soft clipping, sort of like a tube amplifier. It works depending on how hard you play into it. So the louder you drive the saturation circuit, the more of that compression and additional saturation you add to the signal. And then those additional harmonics then go into the new filter. Another new control on the ET5 is called the ring tracking, and that lets the filter cutoff be changed by the position of the ring or the pitch of the notes that you're playing. So with ring tracking in the middle position, the filter cutoff doesn't change according to the notes, but if you move ring tracking all the way to the right, now you're going to have notes that become brighter as the pitch goes up. And as you go lower in pitch, the notes become rounder and more mellow. Conversely, if you move the ring tracking knob to the left, the opposite will happen. So you have high notes that are very round and mellow. I love that sound. And then as you play lower notes, those will sound more aggressive and bright. And of course you'll have control of anything in between, so you can have that be very subtle or drastic. The ET5 also has a built-in spring reverb tank, 
and we've redesigned the circuitry around that to be lower noise and to have a fuller frequency range response as well as a warmer tone. There's a reverb blend knob on the front panel and that allows you to control the output from completely dry, so no reverb, to completely wet where all you're hearing is the sound coming out of the reverb tank, which is really cool. Or of course, anything in between as well. We've also added a DIN MIDI jack on the ET5 and this allows you to use a five pin connector to control pretty much any synthesizer made after 1983 with the ET5's ring and intensity keys. There's also a MIDI over USB jack, so you can use that to connect to a computer or laptop and control uh, software synthesizers. Our web-based configuration utility also connects through USB, and that allows you to configure what CC numbers and what, what MIDI channels the ET5 sends MIDI messages out on. The ET5 sends MIDI messages across two separate channels and it can be considered an MPE device with each intensity key controlling the volume of a separate channel or voice. Um, so that's a quick overview of the ET5 and some of the new features. You can also check out the full manual online and you can also ask me any questions through the website if you have any. Um, thanks for your time and I hope you enjoy it.